Bill O'Reilly is refusing to give up the whole war on Christmas thing. I fig he figures he's written it out for like seven years now. Why not go another month or two? Um, and so he had some guests on to talk about what he thinks is really underlying the war on Christmas. Uh, but, but first, he reiterates his position. So let's go to that. They're denying on the left, many of them, our pal John Stewart being among them, uh, that there is any war on Christmas at all. I'm making it all up. I'm fabricating. I actually think that I'm like Jeff Dunham. I'm a ventriloquist forcing the governor of Rhode Island to call it a holiday tree. He really didn't say that. I made him say it. McCoy. Right. Well, yeah, no? You know what? And, and, and of course, yeah, they're saying that. They want to deny it because they don't want you to fight it. Wow, did they, did they get that guy from Area 51? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, War on Aliens, but yeah, that was think, a yeah. different movie. Okay, so look, uh, there, no one, I don't know if Bill O'Reilly knows this, but no one has actually said from our side, we would like to do a war on Christmas. Yeah. Our side being the secular side, right? Mm -hmm. Not that we're not Christian, some of us are, right? I'm not, but some of us are. Uh, it's just we think, hey, you know what? We should separate shirt and state. By the way, privately, we all call it a Christmas tree. Right. And we think we should call it a Christmas tree. And I don't know anybody who's ever called it a holiday tree. Yeah. Right? That, that's not the point. The point is that, that it, Chafee, for example, is the governor of Rhode Island, right? So he can't say the Jews in Rhode Island, the atheists in Rhode Island, the Buddhists in Rhode Island, I don't give a damn about you. I'm setting up a Christmas tree, I'm setting up Christmas left and right, and if you don't like it, get out of Rhode Island, because that would be kind of the, against the point of the United States of America. Yeah. So he says, well, I didn't make this up. No, but you did make it up. There is no war. It's not like Chafee called us and Rachel Maddow was like, when do we launch? <laughs> right? like, it's not a concerted effort. It's just trying to actually be a decent human being to all your citizens. There's, well, a, there, there's a war on Christmas uh, in the same way that in America has a war on obesity. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> no, I think that he's, he's both right and wrong. I mean, we are engaged in a war on something. It's just not Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's the attempts of Christianity to push itself on us. And the, and the problem is it's very similar to what's happened politically between the left and the right over like the last 10 and 20 years. It's a problem of goalposts that it's not Christians have their religion, atheists don't have their religion, and that's where it is. The goalposts that he thinks are natural are we're pushing it on you, and if you fight back, that's a problem, that's a war, what are you doing? And we just, we want to get back to equilibrium, where you go in your house and you have your Christmas, but I don't have to if I'm outside of a federal court. Well, you know, what about the people who say, uh, they get upset when people say happy holidays, mm -hmm. uh. right? And that, to me, that's the equivalent, or my friend Todd always says, to me, that's the equivalent of you calling everybody Bob. You know, uh -huh. it's like, uh, if, if you say Merry Christmas, well, he's a Jew. It doesn't matter. I'm saying Merry Christmas. Yeah, hey, this, hi, your, friend, your name's Ted. I'm going to call you Bob. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to call you Bob. Yeah. Because that's what I feel good about. It's like, well, that's rude because that guy's name isn't Bob. His name is Ted. Why wouldn't you use his name? And this guy's not a Christian. Why wouldn't you just say Happy Holidays? You're being a dick. <laughs> right? And, it, and it's so factually it's more, accurate. It's more there of a war on, holidays. It's more of a war on dickishness. <laughs> and it is, right? That's yeah. really what it is. And, and look, again, to this point, right? So... I bought a Christmas tree early to, uh, this year, and uh, and I start listening to Christmas songs about five weeks out. Uh, and you know, when you get into my car, you're bombarded by Happy Holidays, but that's wrong. Like, you know, but anyway, okay. And and Jesus and Jr. borrowed my car the other day. One Jesus borrowed it, so then I come back and it's heavy rock music, right? Hey, I mean, it's such a stereotype. His nickname is Rock and Roll Jesus, right? And they, huge rock music, metal like death and mega something, right? <laughs> and then JR borrows a car and he comes back and it's a hip hop station. Mm -hmm. And every time I flip it back to Christmas songs, I love Christmas songs. Yeah. But if I was governor, I wouldn't make people listen to Christmas songs. And even though I put up a Christmas tree, even though I'm agnostic, Okay, and I like I like Santa, but I wouldn't shove Santa down people's throats either. I wouldn't be like, you have to like Santa as much as I do, okay? Where's the goddamn gifts? Because I would be the governor of everybody. You see that? It's a simple understanding. Bill O'Reilly, he, he has an idea of why we're engaged in this war, actually. Uh, let, let's listen to his argument. So it has to do with, uh, at, at the root of it, it, it has to do with two things, abortion and, and the gay rights agenda, because Christianity is, is against those things. And, and that's, it's subtle, but uh, that's, why they, they're so, that's why it's so pronounced in, these, in recent years, in my opinion. 100% agree. 
I absolutely agree 100% that it's the, the diminishment of Christianity uh, is the target and Christmas is the vehicle because the secularists know their opposition to their agenda. Legalized drugs is in that as well. Uh, come primarily from the Judeo-Christian traditionalists. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. So the, the conspiracy we apparently hatched up, the us libs o overall, is we're like, okay, how do we legalize pot <laughs> and make sure abortion remains legal, et cetera. Well, why don't we go after Santa? That, that would, that would, that's the most logical target. That is, no, but the fact that they can even say that out loud shows the depth of their insanity. They really think that somebody saying happy holidays at Sears has something to do with abortion? And drugs. And gay rights. So, it's literally yeah. unbelievable. So Jen, say happy holidays to me. Happy holidays. Drug addict. <laughs> You know, you know who I actually think is to blame? This is going to sound a little bit weird, but I think it's Jesus, actually. Oh, it is? He brought the cameras into our meetings, and TYT Underground's been revealing all of our secret plots that we're hatching. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. That's where O'Reilly probably got uh, his... Probably. Uh, yeah. He's a member. So this Damn is it, Jesus, don't tell him, man! <laughs> and you know what? Next uh, Easter, we are going to murder the Easter Bunny and <laughs> cook it up and eat it. Why? I'm trying to think of another outlandish mm. liberal because we want to save the whales. Yeah. <laughs> but not with a gun because we're anti-gun. Because we're against, I think, offshore platform drilling.